Hey, Cheryl Lazar here at VidCon with Josh Sunquist. And now you just came off from stage. You did your whole presentation. What, how was it? Uh, it was really cool. I mean, yeah, the cool part to me was how, uh, like, I'm a, I like YouTube a lot, and, and these people, like, know YouTube, so you can make, like, inside YouTube jokes, references to things like that, um, which was fun for me. And, but, yeah, they're just a real enthusiastic crowd, and it was awesome. So you speak a lot, a lot of motivational speaking. Mm -hmm. um, tell people how you ventured onto YouTube. What's your story? Yeah, well, you know, I first got onto YouTube, uh, actually, like, a few years ago as a way to, like, promote my demo videos as a mm -hmm. speaker. And so that's what I had for years, and I would just put up, like, material that I... It was from my speeches, and that's how I'd get hired. Was people would see that, and then uh, yeah, just recently I was like, man, I should do vlogs as well. So uh, now I've been doing vlogs as well. So yeah, it's uh, I'm a big fan of YouTube. It's awesome. Do you feel like it's important to connect with people even between you know your speeches and everything? Yeah, yeah, and that's actually why it's really awesome because then it's like because when I go speak, you know, like next week I'm speaking at a conference of like 12,000 uh, high school students, and so something like YouTube is so great because then they can go home and like keep watching my videos, and so it allows me to sort of keep up that uh, that group of uh, fans, I guess. What type of things do you like sharing with people? Uh, so I tell stories about my life, about having one leg, uh, mostly mostly funny stories, and then some serious stories about uh, having cancer. And I went to the Paralympics. I was a ski racer, so it's sort of a story about overcoming adversity. And so, do you feel like this community? It's been very empowering for you to be part of that. Yeah, it has. You know, and, and what I was talking about in my speech was the cool thing to me about uh, about YouTube is that it's unique in that um, it's a place where a person with a disability like me can be on there. And if they so choose, not really reveal that they have a disability, which is not something that uh, that I can do in, in ordinary life. So mm -hmm. I think it's really empowering for uh, for people like me and, and people with any kind of disability. That's so great! You've been meeting all your fans and people that watch you. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's uh, it's yeah, it's cool. And what's what's cooler to me is just to like see people that I've seen on YouTube. Like last night, I walked into like the speaker meeting and just like all of the famous YouTube people were there, and I was just like, wow, this is amazing. It's like, amazing. Yeah. And like, and it, and it was. It's like cliche to say, but like everyone was like way taller, or way shorter than I thought. I was like, what? You don't look reality like strikes. Like <laughs> so what does the future hold? Where do you see all of this? It's a good question. I had a book come out uh, this past January, uh, which became a national bestseller, which was great. Uh, but that, would, that was kind of like what I had been working towards for like two or three years. So now that's out, and obviously I'm continuing to give speeches. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next, if I want to like focus on vlogging all the time or uh, sort of worry about, I don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out. But yeah, it'll have something to do with telling stories, probably in speeches and in YouTube and in books. And what tips can you give people out there who want to follow in your footsteps? <laughs> you mean like to be a speaker or to uh, be on YouTube? I guess use YouTube to uh, share what they have to t say. Uh, I guess I would say um, probably the most important thing I think on YouTube is like is like to be honest and to be yourself. I think what's different about YouTube, um, I've done some stand-up comedy as well, and like for stand-up comedy you have to be like this very unique sort of hilarious um, but on YouTube it's like you can just be kind of your own sort of hilarious and eventually like the people that connect with your style of humor will come to you um, so I don't I think that's cool about YouTube is that you know if you're trying to be on YouTube like you don't have to try to mold yourself to be like anyone else you can just go on and be yourself and that's that's what I would recommend to people cool thank you so much yeah, absolutely. great, great to meet you